everyone this is Engadeski and welcome back to my video in YouTube in this video we're going to learn something awesome because it's like the you can insert the data into the Firebase with the uh, with the Java language in the Android Studio and I'm gonna to show you how it works well check it out hey in this video we're going to create the send up with the firebase but here i already create the simple send up with the material design okay yeah i think that you can easily create this layout but just make sure that the id is edit password edit password i'm going to copy and here is edit password okay so this is the edit mile and this is edit username and this is the edit password and the last one is btn send up because we want to insert the data for the send up to our firebase as you can see here it's still null and don't forget to go into the rules and in the read you can check uh, maybe just like this okay but change it to the true once you change it just publish and rules publish and you go back to data and it's still null okay and we want to learn how to insert the data into our database here okay and the second is the import google firebase because we want to use this uh, firebase to our main activity to insert the data from the database reference chill event listener and query and anymore so on okay so i will keep it cool now we're going to the android the first one we need to do to go to i will close another step okay go to the here and here you need to muffin and URL and here we will use the Google muffin uh, repository so you can type like this this is Google's muffin repository because we want uh, we need this muffin and the second we need to get the compile which is database here and i'm going to copy and paste like this the version is 10.2.0 but maybe you are using this 11 but currently i'm using the 10.2.0 for the firebase code this is for the analysis and this is for the database okay and once you're ready to uh, include the repository you just need to sync and I already sync so we just need to close and close again now we need to create the model model is like the Java class that provides our information about the user so here just click right new and package and model okay and inside of the model we need to create new java class which is the uh, user okay uh, i'm sorry i'm sorry we need to delete this delete okay delete and here we need to create user okay so this is the user and we want to create the uh, which is the username password and email so here private string username and private string password and the last one is email okay and we need to create the function here and then if you are using the mac os you just need to come on and and here you need to constructor all of them like this and then here common and and getter and setter all of them okay it's pretty easy to use 
because we will we use the shortcut from the Android and I really love it. Cool. Now after we have the model, we need to go to main activity and open your layout here. Okay, so I will close the model and here it's the edit text has the ID which is edit email and between sign up and edit username and password and so on so I will import the Google Firebase first so I already here we just need to copy and paste like this okay and after that we will declare the firebase here firebase database is database and database reference is users all right and then we need to declare the id which is edit text and button so edit text here edit username edit password and the last one edit mile and button btn send up okay and i'm going to import the class like this okay and after that we're going to the function here okay and here we need to setting the firebase again database is firebase database get instance and then we need to create the uh, declare the variable users database get reference get reference from the user so we will create the table which is users all right and here just declare the yeah you know edit text find our id edit username and we just need copy and paste like this and the last one is button so here edit password and here edit password and here edit email and the last one edit email and don't forget to change it to the button and this is the button set up and this is the button set up okay now we want to now we want to create the function for btn setup set on click new on click here first we need to declare the variable for the user okay and this is import by the model here okay the model so here should be new user and edit username and get text and to string just like this and we want to copy this this is the password and this is the uh, email okay I'm sorry my voice is gone because you know the weather is not good and after that we want to users and add a listener for the single value event and new value event listener and you will get the second uh, you will get the twice this one and this one the two option and on data change we will create the validation with the if and else data snapshot and child and user get username because the username is the primary key so here should be task and here should be the username is already exists okay and then we will create the second validation which is else if the username doesn't exist that we need to 
push our our data into the Firebase based on username. So here set the value user, and we will create the toss again. Success register. Okay. And this is just use the length sort. Cool. And if you cancel, maybe you need to write something here that you can add your custom code. Okay. Now, I think it's already done that we can test it into the emulator. Don't forget the rules should be true and true for the write and the read because we want to insert the data and this is the uh, write the data, okay? And currently the database is still null and we will implement the data from this emulator to this Firebase. Let me try my email angariski at gmail.com and username is angariski and the password is 123abc alright and we register register success and here this is the the tables which is here you see okay and then we click here this is the username so this is the primary key so from the mindfire app has the users this is the table and anger is key now i'm trying to create new account again which is maybe youtube mail.com and youtube good and here the password is okay and i'm register again and you will see the user has already two users which is youtube good and anger is key and this is the hit of the table this is the hit of table and has the value which is anger is key and youtube good so if we want to solve if we want to retrieve the data based on username and i'm gonna to show you maybe in the next video so this is the Engadiski and YouTube good has the information which is email, password, and username. Okay, so it's already, yeah, we already have the data in Firebase. So easy, isn't it? Well, I think it's enough and I hope it's useful for you because maybe someday I will create the online application with the Firebase. So don't forget to like comment and share it to your friends because i want to get more subscriber well nice to meet you from indonesia thanks everyone goodbye